whether his team is Super Bowl bound. The Pittsburgh Steelers are AFC Conference champions. Or mired in a losing streak. Pittsburgh's had their problems. They've, you know, they're 0-4 right now. Where'd it go? Mike Tomlin go, greets Good every job. one of his players after every game. Ooh. Hey, little fella. Young man, old man. Good job, both guys. Hey, Jonathan. What'd you get, like four carries for an inch? Little KJ. Yeah. Right. Where'd it go, baby? Awesome, man. Your daddy be proud. It's just something I've always done. The guys laying on the line for, for the cause. Uh, every Sunday, and uh, I want to personally thank them for their efforts after games, regardless of outcome. Still a football in 60 minutes. It's 60 minutes. Tomlin knows what it means to be a player himself. After setting records as a wide receiver at William & Mary, he got his first coaching job at Virginia Military Institute under head coach Bill Stewart. I'll never forget, I went up to VMI for a weekend. They were in the middle of spring ball. He said, hey, just come up and spend the weekend with us and uh, see if it's something that you can sink your teeth into. Looking back at it, knowing Stu now, I know that was a setup, you know. I got there, they handed me a script. I coached all weekend, <laughs> you know, because uh, some economic constraints at places like VMI. It was full-time work, part-time pay. Shoot, we spent a lot of time in Coach Stu's basement, <laughs> you know, because uh, that was the place to be when you were broke, <laughs> you know. Less than five years after entering the coaching ranks, Tomlin became an assistant in the NFL. But he never forgot the man who gave him his start or the Stewart family. To this day, he's just been a great friend to Bill Blaine and I. Coach Tomlin has been a great person in my life and even going back to the diapers. Coach Stewart plop him on my lap every now and then. Hey, here, watch the boy. <laughs> you couldn't run into Coach Stu or talk to Coach Stu without the conversation quickly going to his boy Blaine and how he was doing. That, of course, is his only child. So, you know, man, he, he just, he really cherished that young man. Santonio Holmes! I don't know how he did it! When I saw him hold up that Lombardi trophy, that was just the coolest thing, just having a personal connection with that guy. My dad was proud. He was very proud of Coach Tolman. It was amazing. It was like, wow, but we knew this guy when he coached for the very first time. In 2008, Mike Tomlin became the youngest head coach ever to win a Super Bowl. That same year, Bill Stewart coached in the biggest game of his career when West Virginia faced Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl. Leave no doubt tonight. Leave no doubt tonight. No doubt, they shouldn't have played the old Golden Blue. Not this night. Yes, sir. This is a night that uh, Coach Stewart's going to remember for the rest of his life. And don't you love the outpouring of emotion by the players towards the coach? He loved his players. He loved being a mentor for them and showing them the way to live life, not just play football. I'll never forget just hugging him on that field. Just that was, that was an amazing moment. It's a great night to be a Mountaineer. Four years after reaching the pinnacle of his profession, Bill Stewart died of a heart attack at age 59, while his son Blaine was a junior in high school. You know, I've uh, tried to hold myself together for Blaine's senior year, and to get him in college, and um, uh, that's where we are. So Bill would be proud that we made it, that, you know, that this is where we are, and he would tell us to, um, you know, go on. But, you know, it's a, it's a huge void in both of our lives. The day after his death, I got a text from Coach Tomlin. I'll never forget what it said. It said, the sun did come up today. Everything happens for a reason. I love you, and I'll be down to see you this week. For him to show his support, very thankful for that. When I saw him at the funeral, he just said, anytime he could help me or anytime I needed to talk, he would be there for me, and he, he has been. At Blaine's first high school game following his father's passing, Mike Tomlin came to lend his support. I'll just never forget just an NFL coach coming to watch a high school football game just to support me, and it was, it was amazing. He gave Blaine the opportunity to come be a part of the Steeler camp for four days. He got to go stay in the dorm 
and just be a part of the Steeler family. What's up, baby? Oh, your mom being all right? Yes. Good. Parking pass and stuff right away? Hey, man, what's going on? As a ball boy for the Steelers, Blaine was introduced to the same full-time work, part-time pay his father had given Tomlin. When I got up there, he said, enjoy this time, but we're going to put you to work. And he was he was not kidding. I mean, we had a lot of long days. Man, it's good. It's kind of good stress. You know what I mean? It, it's for real. It's, you know, don't turn to decide where you want to continue your education and play ball. That's a good problem. Enjoy it, brother. Good deal, man. In 2013, Blaine chose to stay close to home when he committed to play for James Madison University. It's really been a unique relationship after Coach Stu's passing. We're friends for life, and I mean it in that way. Blaine is an impressive young man. He's mature beyond his years. Um, I just want to be there if he wants somebody to talk to, you know, if he needs somebody to talk to. Um, I, I think that's important. Big Blaine, let's go, baby. I'm truly blessed for the relationship that I have with him. He's one of those people that I know will always have my back. Merry Christmas, man. Thank you and the fam, man. No doubt. All the best. Good to see you got Stu boy over there. That's good, man. Yeah, man. Ain't Blaine no doubt. Kid. Yeah. Man, hey, dude, you know Stu gave me my first job. Stu raised me. I know. Uh, hey, I, I had that kid, man, when he was nine months old, I worked for Stu. Yeah. Changed his diapers and everything. That family was good to me. Miss they Karen, they good raised good people, me in man. this profession. They good people. Ain't no doubt. Good people. Great I'm, I'm going to take care of that young man. Oh, yeah, I promise that, you that.